Let's take a look at whether SIF4, this is silicon tetrafluoride, is polar or nonpolar. So this one's a bit confusing because if you look at the difference in electronegativity between the SI and the F, SI and F, that's a pretty large difference. So you might think this is an ionic bond. However, since we have a metalloid here and we have a nonmetal, we should be careful. If you look at this SIF4, it turns out it has many characteristics of covalent compounds. It's a very low melting point. These bonds are fairly highly polarized, but we still consider this a covalent compound. So with covalent compounds, we have polar and nonpolar covalent compounds. So let's look at whether SIF4 is polar or nonpolar. So we have our Lewis structure. We have four things around this SI. We really need to look at the molecular geometry here. It seems that the molecule is symmetrical, but let's see what happens when we look at it in three dimensions. So the central atom here, that'll be our silicon. Let's add four of those fluorine atoms. One, two, you see them spread out, three, four. So we end up with a tetrahedral molecular geometry for SIF4. And each one of these fluorines here on the outside, they're pointed in opposite directions. Because of that, we don't have an overall dipole. Even though we have a big difference between the silicon and each fluorine, overall, all those differences cancel out. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. Since they all cancel out, there's no net dipole, and we say SIF4 is a nonpolar compound because of the symmetry of the molecule where the fluorine atoms are all pointed in opposite directions. This is Dr. B discussing whether SIF4 is polar or nonpolar. It is considered a nonpolar covalent compound. Thanks for watching.